All right, today I'm going to walk you through how to do shape crops. So, for example, getting a character cropped within um, a circle, so it's more than just your, your standard rectangular crop that you see in most of the uh, photo editing softwares. All right, so I have PowerPoint open here. I might have to do this and do a couple different screencasts, but we'll get through what we can now, keep it under five minutes, and then do the next one. Basically, when you're creating this, you have two desired outputs. One, you might want the character enclosed, um, enclosed inside of a circle, and the other, you might want the overlapping. I really like this overlapping feature. I think it adds a little bit more visual interest. Uh, but let's first talk about the enclosed method. So basically there's two methods to do it as an enclosed um, enclosed inside of a circle and uh, I'll walk you through that right now. Um, so the first is cropping to a shape. So what we want to do is uh, insert a photo. So let's go ahead and do insert picture. Looks like we've got Kevin here so let's go ahead and insert Kevin. And now we want to crop to shape. So under format if you do the, in PowerPoint 2010, you do crop, crop to shape. Now it's off the screen a little bit, but you can see the circle here. We selected an oval. And it's hard to tell what happens, um, and, and this is a little bit frustrating. You need to know what to do here. The first thing you need to do is go set your aspect ratio, and we'll set that to 1.1, um, and that's going to be a square. So basically, it, it'll uh, since we did it first as a, a as a circle, it's doing one to one, which would be a circle instead of an oval. Um, so now we can actually um, size what we want our crop to be. So you see here, I like to pick a, a round number that I can deal with. Let's let's say we're going to do three by three, and we're good to go. Um, now we can drag this around um, to align things. So let's let's drag our guy here. And if we wanted to make him bigger, we could scale him up. That circle stays the same, and then we just do the alignment. So, boom, right there. There we are. Now the reason I picked something like 3x3 three three is it, it gets a lot easier to deal with. Um, let's actually make sure there's no line there. No line. Great. So now if we draw a circle of the exact same size, let's go ahead and do that and make that... Oh, I actually happened to just get it to be 3x3. Three three. So now let me open up the selection pane. If we bring our character to the top and we select this so it has no border, Now we can just align these. So I, I'm going to use my alignment tools here. I'm going to say align these on the bottom, align them in the middle there, and now, boom, it's perfect. There we are. Um, so now the other approach that we can do is the uh, shape fill picture. So the first thing we want is the shape. And let's go ahead and just grab the shape that we had here. And um, let's duplicate it so we have a background to go back to. Um, but uh, I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to go format shape, I'm going to insert a picture. So the so for my fill I want to go picture and there she is. Uh, I want to make sure it's tiled so if I don't tile it you now the, the perspective gets all skewed. So I want to do that and you know her she's not quite the scale that I want. She's blown up a little bit too much so let's take her down to 30 and 30. So you're going to use these scale to get these to get this part right. Um, and then the offsets are going to be, if I do X, it's going to move her left and right, and um, the offsets here, I know, that's going to move her up and down. So let's say I moved her up here, and maybe I want to crop off part of the top of her head. So I just keep cranking that up, and eventually that will crop. And now you'll see, same thing, I bring this, let's send that to the back. And if I get my alignment right, I can just go align bottom, align middle, and there we are. So that was uh, two quick ways to um, enclose your character um, within a shape. One is the crop to shape method, and the other is the shape fill picture method. Either one will work. Um, in the next screener, I'm going to cover um, how to make the head overlap. So if you're interested in adding this visual effect, stay tuned for the next screener. Thanks so much.